Uh, growing up, I wanted to do everything that my big brother did. He is a thoughtful, patient, and generous person who will happily do something for you, or show you how to do something new, or take you to experience something he knows you might enjoy. He has introduced me to a lot of things, things that I might not have been brave enough to do by myself. And I never felt safer than with when my big brother was there to guide me. I am proud to say that you have grown into a strong woman who has gracefully come into her own, and you have found a perfect partner along the way. I don't even know what I wrote here, okay? As the two of you start the next chapter of your life, we both wish you all of the happiness and peace in the world. Love you both. We refer to Melanie as the general. <laughs> She's the general. Honestly. And I think it comes from the fact that she was born in 1988, which is the year of the dragon. <laughs> and an Asian tech astrology that's the best sign you can have possibly have and traits of dragons are that they are you know extremely uh, persistent they uh, are driven and they're persistent in what they want well, the Mark's head shake and it so you know and this is especially true of our daughter Mary. When Nellie wants something, God help you. <laughs> she, she goes after it with gusto. So as a father, I'm very proud. Melanie, it's hard to put into words what makes you so special. While it may not have been love at first sight, to know you is to love you. For the past 10 years, as I get to know you deeper and deeper, I find myself loving you more and more. From McDonald's to White Spot, from Vancouver to Ottawa, from Quebec City to Italy. We have been on a lot of adventures, and I can't wait to see what else is in store. My promise to you is to try my very best to embrace adventure. <laughs> Just as... <laughs> Just as there is no better travel partner as you, there is no better partner in life than you. Uh, Mark, I had a really hard time trying to figure out where to even begin with this. It's been 10 years. How do you sum up 10 years in a few short minutes? These 10 years have flown by. It took us a long time to get here, a little procrastination by you, <laughs> and a lot of living. <laughs> I never spent my life dreaming about my wedding. All I've ever wanted was a partner that would love me for who I am and would want to live life with me. Someone I would continue to fall in love with over the years. Someone that I would be happy waking up to each morning. Someone that had the same interests as me and challenges me to be the best version of myself. And I know that I have found that in you. I've always appreciated that you let me be my own person and fulfill my dreams on my own and not just with you. As you know, I'm a strong, independent woman with a Y <laughs> that doesn't need a man, <laughs> but likes having a man around to help her out. <laughs> Had to add it. <laughs> and although we laugh and you roll your eyes when I say that, <laughs> you've always let me be both independent and dependent on you. And for that, I love you. I love our little family, Yumi and Shadow. I love our Friday night shawarma. I love our weekend waffles. To me, one of the most important parts of love is supporting one another. Supporting each other can be hard, has been hard, and will probably be hard in the future. This does not, my cha this does not change my commitment to you, <laughs> to support you. Support you in your endeavors, support you in your pain, to support you in good times and bad, to support you when it isn't easy. I can't promise you a perfect life. Life will be messy, life will be rough, life will be filled with surprises and roadblocks. But I can promise you that I will be at your side giving you my best to battle through hangriness, to ignore the water around the sink, to always make sure you have clean socks and underwear. There is no other partner I want by my side in this messy life than you. I will love you and support you all the days of my life. 
I am yours and you're mine. <laughs> Grow old with me, the best is yet to be. It seems crazy to me that as of today, I will now be referring to you as my husband. So crazy. I've only just gotten used to calling you my fiance. <laughs> 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 Only took her like a year and a half. <laughs> You've been my partner for so long. We've learned how to, <laughs> to adult and do life together side by side and it's been easy. Thank you for letting, uh, for getting us to where we are today. Without you organizing our lives and counting every penny and receipt, I, would no I know we would never get uh, achieve the things we do. Thank you for continually, continuously letting us flow our vacation budget. Your responsibility bal balances out my crazy ideas and lands us in a happy middle. <laughs> and in that middle, we are happy, fulfilled, and jo enjoy life together. <laughs> I don't particularly want to make you promises today because I don't really want to change anything. But I do feel like I can pro prom promise you a fulfilled life, a life full of love, spontaneity, and adventure. I will always push you to try the things you think are weird, even though it makes you grumpy. And I'm sure you would prefer I didn't promise this, but I promise to never so stop planning our next vacation and dreaming big for us. <laughs> I love you today. I've loved you for 3,772 days. And I promise to love you all the days of our life. I look forward to the new adventures that marriage will bring us. I love you. Address what everyone has been thinking since we found out Mel and Mark got engaged. Finally! Uh, Mark, we first met Mel over 10 years ago, and they seemed to click right away. Um, they wanted to do adventures together, travel, and make most of each other's time. And, uh, and now, you know, for all of Mark's faults, you still chose him. And his many mistakes. Picking up our, you know, drink tab. <laughs> Somehow going to Environment Canada, become a weatherman instead of an economist. <laughs> but really, Mark is our best friend, and that makes you now our best friend. Aww. A great man once said, Webster's Dictionary defines wedding. <laughs> As the fusing of two metals with a hot torch. <laughs> well, you know something? I think you guys are two metals. Gold metals. <laughs> I personally could not agree more with this statement. Um, in this crazy world we live in, you two found each other and molded your lives, so you both are gold medals. Fast forward to nowadays, when they have run multiple races together, including a half marathon. If that isn't a testament to their relationship, then I don't know what is. Not only did Mark convince Mel to come to like running, which isn't necessarily an easy hobby to take up, but they did it together, working hard towards their goals by supporting each other. And I think that says it all about their relationship. 